In today's video, we are going to continue on with our free Baltimore Ravens offensive ebook slash guide for you guys. And we are going to be talking about zone beating. How do you beat zone coverage in Madden NFL 21, specifically from the uh, Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook? So uh, for those of you guys that have never been to my YouTube channel before, my name is Cody. And what I do is here is I make Madden 21 videos that are designed to help you get better at this game right and so what that entails is I post four videos a day on YouTube that are tactical tangible tips and strategies and schemes that you can utilize that are going to help you get better at this game so um, that's what I do and if that is something that interests you what I want you to do right now is to go to the bottom right end of the screen this is completely free to do right it takes about five seconds if that and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand of the screen and then there, to the right of that there's a little bell icon you can click that so that you can be notified whenever we release a new video or whenever we go live we live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time all right, so zone coverage, Ravens playbook, and we are talking about the gun wide trip. So the audibles that I like to have um, are the PA post cross shot, the deep in, the um, where's that? Where did it go? Uh, the sticking up, and then the uh, the the last one that I typically will use is the dig and go. If you want to run the ball from this formation, you can also use power read. But uh, those are the plays that I like the most. I think those are the plays that are going to give you the best bang for your buck. And I, I do want to cover Strong Flood a little bit because Strong Flood is actually a really good little route concept. This route to Brown here gets, for the most part, will get underneath almost every zone in the game. Um, unless, they, unless they shade their coverage down significantly, um, this little route right here, when he crosses, is actually very eff effective against zone coverage. It's a Strong Flood to the right side. But... What we want to talk about first is PA post cross shot. This is the best play you have. This is this is the best play you have against zone. If they're going to run zone on you, run this play. The only adjustment that I would recommend, I like sending five people out on the route this year. So I'm going to take the running back, and I'm typically going to put him on a wheel route, and then the tight end is typically going to go on a drag route just in case I get a man-to-man -man coverage. But what you'll see is against zone, this deep crosser, is going to absolutely torch zone and let's just take the running back let's just let's just run it stock let's just keep max protection here just so that you can see um the way this crosser is going to absolutely this is cover three that my opponent's running here and good old practice mode is blessing us with some instant sheds even though we're blocking seven people um sometimes that happens in practice mode it's unreal actually uh how consistently that is that issue come, pops up but you'll see here this route, little cross, right there, gonna absolutely torch the cover two or cover three. The other thing about this is if you if you know if you know that they're running cover three, then what you want to do is take your right side guy Boykin here, put him on a smart routed out route, and what you're gonna see is that is going to absolutely set yourself up. So if you, again, this is if you know they're in cover three. Um, but if you know that they are in cover three defense, throw Boykin on an out route, okay? And then you're gonna smart route the left side post. And what you're gonna see is it's gonna significantly shorten the depth at which that post is gonna cross. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow uh, a guy like Marquis, man, Chase Winovich is instant shedding me on the right side. Uh, we're just gonna block him or spy him so you guys can see the route concepts. Um, but literally, what you'll see here, this is cover three. Ah, of course, I'm in cover four, or I'm in strong flood because I didn't come out in PA cross shot. Um, so if I go to PA post cross shot, I'm going to block Dobbins, and then I'm going to throw that, that receiver on the right side of the screen on an out route. What you'll see, and I'm going to smart route that post route on the left. This is only if they're in cover three. If they're not in cover three, I would recommend doing this, and I don't typically do this anyway. But what you'll see here is I can pass lead that to the left, to the right side, and a guy like Marquise Brown or Tyreek Hill or Marquise Goodwin, if you got a fast receiver, that can absolutely torch uh, cover three defenses. But typically what I like to do, you know, if they're – this is more of a cover four and cover two killer, in my opinion, than it even is a cover three killer. But literally this, this little post uh, – this little crossing route – I don't know why Lamar Jackson, for whatever reason, can't make this throw, but this this um, 
this crossing route to Willie Sneed is fairly, fairly effective. Uh, one other thing you can we can try here is if we put Marquise Brown on an out route, it's going to hold that deep blue zone. But eh, doesn't look doesn't look not a good look not a good look right there. So just run the play, um, you know, run it stock, and you're going to see consistently you're going to be able to kill basically any zone. I mean, any zone this is going to kill. Um, but what you'll specifically see here, and there we go, there's the completion, absolute dot against cover three. Now, the reason you run this play, though, is for what it does against cover four. So you don't have to make any adjustments at all. I would just personally say block the running back. That's what I say. Um, but what you're going to see is against cover four defense, this play is absolutely going to kill cover four over the top. That, um, that deep post over the top, literally an instant dominating, dominating cover four beater. There's nothing they can do. There, there's straight up nothing they can do. In a cover four defense, they're going to get torched with this, which most people that you'll play online will call, if they're going to go to the zone, they're going to call some type of cover four, and you're going to see this thing just kills it. I mean, it just literally kills it over the top. Brown is just going to roast it. That deep crosser in combination with that deep in route. And what I, what I actually think, and I don't know if this, this is a little bit of an advanced tip here, but what happens if they uh, drop their their uh, deep middle linebacker into a deep blue zone? You're going to see he's going to bite on that cross or just at the snap. And if you've got like a, a Patrick Mahomes, you can get that out there. Again, Lamar doesn't have the power, the throw power, pure throw power to do that. But if that's a Tyree kill and a Patrick Mahomes combination, that thing is an absolute dot against cover five, which most people, you know, they're, they're not going to be expecting this. This thing is going to kill um, pretty much any zone in the game over the top. Um, and typically you can get this, you can get this over there, but we're not having as much success against the Patriots because they have such a good secondary. But in my ultimate team, if you've got a bazooka ability or you got something like that, you know, and they're running some kind of coverage like that, this thing's going to absolutely torch it. Um, but it also doesn't take into consideration the fact that the crosser is still wide open. The crosser is still wide open. The, the crossing route is literally your check down. That's what's crazy to me out of this. So, so that's that's your best play. That's that's the play to me that you're going to want to absolutely make go. If they run anything like cover three um, or anything where they basically have that covered, watch this deep half completely. You'll see. And, and what I would recommend doing. Um, Personally, what I would what I would recommend doing is running this play um, to the to the uh, to either of the hashes. So, like if you run it to the right, the right hash, what you'll find is when they go into a cover two setting, get the audibles there. Watch the deep deep half zone. You're gonna absolutely stay. See how he stays down like that. And if Lamar doesn't kill me on his throwing power. Um, if that's a if that's a you know a Dan Marino and Mud or a Patrick Mahomes or a Aaron Rodgers even, you're going to be able to get that deep deep post over the deep half as a as a deep deep crossing route. Okay, this is you know again something you're going to need a little bit of time. You'll see the crosser does beat the cover too. I mean it, it it's consistently um, well, I say as I say that it gets it gets boxed, but it does beat cover two over the top. I think I threw it a little bit late there. But what you'll see here, and this is the um, cover two defense. But watch cover two. Watch that deep safety. See how he's going to just stop? If I pass lead it up, you'll see there absolutely rose cover two. It's a one play TD against cover two as well. So you're going to basically kill every stock coverage in the game. Um, they're not going to be able to run stock coverages against you. In fact, if they run like, let's say they run like cover three cloud. Cover three cloud is probably going to be the best coverage they can run, but even that coverage to me is still going to have some significant challenges uh, over the top. You'll see that post route killing it over the top again. And again, if that's like a Tyree kill, I mean, even Marquise Brown is fine. You just need Lamar Jackson to get the ball out there a little bit more. And that's why I'm saying um, Patrick Mahomes or Aaron Rodgers those those quarterbacks are going to have the, the kind of arm power and accuracy to be able to get that over the top. But what you'll see here, right pass lead that hard to the right, absolutely torches the cover six, absolutely torches cover three cloud. I mean, literally torches every zone of the game. It's your best play. It's the play you must make go if they're going to be running zone coverage. That's why I also recommend having your tight end on a drag. Just as a simple check down read is going to be so huge. 
Um, because what's going to happen is they're going to start dropping their zones back like 30 yards to try to stop the crossing route. Well, you're just going to pop, just going to pop drags over and over again, you know, over and over again. And if they do that, then you can also hit the, the deep cross, the deep crossing play. All right. I want to go over a couple more plays real quick. So, um, the next play is sticking up. All I do with this is take the left side guy, put him on a wheel. That's literally it. And what you're going to find here, this is probably a little bit more of a man beater, but this route, when it cuts to the inside, this post route is a like is one of the best routes of the Madden. Um, it's the same route that you see people use from the gun bunch with the Pats post sale. Uh, and what you'll see is it's really, really good. I mean, he's going to get to this, and he's just going to come all the way across. And you see how the zones basically forget about him. Um, that's what makes it so good. So he's going to beat every zone in the game. He has to be usered. And because he has to be usered, then what that's going to allow is it's going to allow you to be able to check down. You're either going to have the wheel route or you're going to have this little underneath crosser to Willie Sneed for a quick five, quick five, quick five. The next play I want to talk about is dig and go. Um, this play, all I do is smart route, Marquise Brown's route, and then – that's literally it. You'll see this little angle route, very, very good snap throw against zone this year. Uh, most of the time, what they're going to be doing is trying to use the trip side out of this. They're going to be trying to get you to get you to handle um, all these trips. You see, that's why I like strong floods. You can pop a quick flood concept in, and it you know it works really well. And the you know the fact is, you've got a, it's very basic flood, but it, it, it is going to be consistent. It's going to be a quick, quick three, quick five, quick seven yards. Um, but also, what you're going to have off a of dig and go is you're going to have this nice little seam to the tight end. Uh, as you can see there, you can use or catch that uh, against cover two or against like even, even if they run cover four, what you'll see here, if I go to dig and go, I mean, this is, this running back is going to kind of sit and you're also going to be able to hit those streaks against cover two. I'll show you the streak. I'll show you the streak real quick. So you see here, this is cover two, right up the seam. And I can typically click click onto that and make that play. Um, or if they're like in cover three, even if they're in cover three, you know, it does depend a little bit on what they've got their hooks shaded to. So if their hooks are deep, you know, there's not much you can do. But you see, you could pass lead that seam against pretty much every zone. Um, but again, this is what I want to I want to clarify for you. If they follow the tight end, don't throw it. Just check it down right here. Because that's, that's 10 yards right there. Just quick pop pass, quick pop pass, quick pop pass over and over again. And then you've got, in my opinion, one of the best um, one of the best uh, zone beaters in the game is this little fade stop. I mean, this this fade stop is you know going to significantly you know fa be fairly consistent, uh, especially if especially if and this is what I will do from time to time with this specific play is I'll just motion blink it over, put him on a flat route. And now I've got, you know, a curl flat concept to that left side that's going to beat every zone of the game. Just low ball inside. And, of course, as I'm talking about it, I get shamed because he doesn't have pass lead elite. Pass lead elite is like, that's why I think pass lead elite is so good. But what you'll see here, again, just take somebody, put him on a flat route. We're going to, we're going to throw that deep uh, guy there and just pass lead inside and down. And we might as well just throw the flat. The flat's wide open. The flat's wide open. But typically that fade stop will get open. The issue with the fade stop is it does go to the outside. So it is what it is. But anyway, deep in, uh, deep in, you've also got a seam route. But you got this really nice little route to Willie Sneed. Um, that's really good. You've also got that deep dig. So just some good route concepts there from the Ravens playbook. And then the last play that I want to talk about, deep in is kind of like dig and go as well. Um, but... You know the strong flood, like I said, you got the quick reads there, and then this little this little route to Boykin is going to get underneath most zone coverages. So you're going to be able to low ball that. Um, what I also like about it is if they're running man to man, you're going to see. Uh, whoops, that's cover two. Um, but if they if they do run man to man, Boykin's route is going to um, is going to beat it. I'll show you that right here. So this is like press man. Uh, but you'll see here, Brown going to be, beat the man-to-man -man coverage. Obviously, we threw into a zone, but the reason that's significant is because 
the routes on the right side of the field should do fine uh, against the zone coverage. You got that nice big deep 15 yard dig route. Like they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to um, drop their zones back. But if they don't, and and that's what you're seeing here. I mean, y yes, I'm throwing picks, but what you're seeing is you can pop these little quick flats for five, six, seven, eight, over and over again. They're going to have to do something like this, which is to overplay the flat. And when they do that, then you're going to be able to hit the out route. So that's why strong flat. I like having that as a concept just in case. But that is this formation. I mean, honestly, there's really not much else that I do. Um, this flood play is really good. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good mix in. The, 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 the sticking out play or sticking up play, you're going to find a lot of success with this play, especially against like match coverage or even man-to-man -man coverage um, in combination with zone coverage. So whatever you guys are facing, you're going to be able to beat it with this offense right here. And I'm just telling you, PA Pro's cross shot, it's your best play. It's the play that you must make go. It's the play that you will make go. And it's the play that you will run again and again and again. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure to jump in my Discord. Discord is a great place to build community. It's a great place where my community comes together, talks Madden 24-7. So be sure to join that Discord, and we will see you guys in our next video coming in a couple of hours, or we'll see you on tonight's live stream. We have a live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on YouTube, so be sure to check the channel for that. And check out one of these videos we've got uh, right here. we got some more videos for you coming today.